Hey everyone, I'm Barowak and welcome to my game Gander. Hug. Today I'll be looking at Manor Lords. So the demo is available during the Steam Next Fest and I'm pretty damn excited for it. I've been waiting for this game for like a year and I will say that so far the little bit I've tried, it does not disappoint. Manor Lords is a city builder RTS where you get to manage your colony and conquer. Well, I'm going to say the world since there's a map in dif different regions. So you get to conquer the world. This game has it all. It has amazing graphics. The music is just fantastic. There's combat. There's also very complex economic and social aspects. And most importantly, there's a tech tree or a development tree, whatever it's called, you get to invest points into making your city better. The only thing I'm not sure is how much micromanagement is gonna be needed, but I figured that's something that we'll know best when the game actually releases. So in the demo, we can actually only play one game mode, which is perfectly fine, but it just goes to show you that there will be different scenarios to try and different play styles and tactics. The Robber Baron is more combat oriented, it seems. Realm Conquest, you just want to claim everything so conquer the world rise to prosperity seems more like like sort of like sandbox easy relax mode i would say but i'm not 100 percent sure here we get to actually you know create our own uh banner our coat of arms uh the characters look really nice i, I like the art oh this guy this guy gives me like a little bit of joffrey vibes i don't know we will be let's be Oh no, Lady Patricia. Both of them. We'll be this Lady Patricia. Um, oh, oh, wait, hold on a second. Lady Vero. Let's just be Vero Whack again. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm a descendant from a long line of wax. <laughs> uh, it seems we're going to be able to make our own texture. Ooh, interesting. So let's be, let's be uh, Team Green. I don't know where this primary color is I'm not sure but let's be green this primary color doesn't matter and we'll be I think yellow looks nice Ooh, oh oh there's more colors hold on a second there we go that looks pretty nice what do I want to be so the way I'm thinking I don't want to make it too complicated because whoever's gonna have to be crafting these coats of arms I don't want them to take forever so, like, this is very simple, but it's not great. I don't want to do something crazy like this. It's just it's so much work for them. I'm trying trying to make it more efficient. Oh, pants. <laughs> we, <laughs> uh, okay, maybe we'll be pants. Okay, we are... We are the pants family. <laughs> yeah, pants. <laughs> nice. Uh, what colors do I want? Ooh, purple. This no, I don't want green on green. That's just silly. Oh, what if we make this? Yeah, I mean these pants. Pants are a bit strange, but you know what? This is this is what we're most proud of. Starting supplies. Uh. Okay, so this is starting supplies. How much you start with? Obviously, you can have nothing. Standard double. Well, we're just gonna start standard. Approval is how fast people start to leave if you mismanage them. I don't have to worry about this because I'm not going to mismanage. That is not something I'm going to do. And weather events. For now, it governs how much the rain can damage exposed supplies, and then more weather-related stuff will be added. Alrighty. But they were all of them deceived. What? For there was another bug that he had overlooked. Well, just from that, I like the dev. I really do. All right, so here we go. This is the world we want to conquer. Conquest locked in the demo, that's fine. I mean, it's pretty big, I would say. I can I can take care of this. A trade route, and then there's all these areas, that's fine. Okay, we start here. Uh, this is my little, my humble little village so far. And then we got a trade route. There's so many trees, ooh, berries, iron, wild animals, wild animals, all right. Now let's start, uh, we're gonna construct, which is C. And then, so there's two different wood cutting buildings. One of them produces timber for construction and the other one firewood. So 
I'm used to having it just having one central woodcutter and then having different buildings to, you know, create either timber or firewood, but now it's slightly different. Oh, okay, hold on a sec. This is a bit big. Let's put this maybe, maybe we'll put this like here. There's berries here. I don't want to get rid of that. So this will be our nice little woodcutting area. That's pretty far. Uprooted trees? No, let's just go right here. Actually, you know what? Let's build on top of this hill. I feel like this hill is probably not somewhere I want to really build much. Oh wait, there's animals there. Okay. We'll go here, we'll clear this out, and then we'll try to like expand in that area, I guess. There you go. Uh, on a side, pendants automatically work on construction. Okay. Go. And then I'll do a little firewood. Right beside it. All right, go minions. Um, a new message. Oh, hello. There's a fire at the heart of every settlement, a bastion of safety, warmth, and light against the darkness of the world. On this cold spring morning, your men blow on their fingertips, their breath clouding in the air. But there's plenty of work to warm them. As the toil begins, you can almost imagine you hear the ring of anvils, the tolling of the bells, the cries of the marketplace. Possibilities. In the distance, Fog, ling fog lingers in the hollows of the land, and the world is quiet, watchful, waiting for you to choose which of those to make real. All right, we got objectives. That's good. I got 365 days to do it. Um, okay, granary, granary. That's not it. Okay, I've got I've got these two. So I've got a logging camp and woodcutter lodge. I guess I just need a logging camp, a forager hut. We had berries here. All right, so our berries. I don't know how close I need to build it, but I think we can gather berries there. I need a storehouse, which would be in here. Oh, a granary. Well, there, there's our granary. All right, I will build this. Uprooted trees. I don't like uprooting trees, but I'm gonna have to. And a storehouse. Not enough resources. All right, well, let's prioritize. The logging camp. And one thing I like is you can fast forward. Oh, do I need roads for them to get there? Road points, both buildings have to be connected by the, to the road network. Okay, that's fine. There we go, making like curved roads. There we go. Go people, we are gonna go, we've got our little, wait, the ox has a name? Oh, this is awesome. Hey, Endress. Oh, can I rename you? I don't think so. Heaven shine down and grow the land. That's okay. Heaven shine down and grow the land. That's a nice name. That's a nice name. <laughs> okay. Tommen. Dits. Tommen. Dits. Hans. All right. Well, um, let's fast forward and see. Other than that, so we have five unassigned families. Well, we have no nothing built. Five population. They are 50% okay with me. Uh, no crime's gonna occur because we have 100% order. This is our goal. Regional wealth or livestock. We have one ox. Number of months before supplies run out. Okay, that's okay. We're building a berry, a forager hut for some berries, right? Yeah, uh, hunting camp, I could actually build, I guess in this general area. Like that, and then we'll build a little road to connect. So far this is nice. I like, I think the only thing is the UI is pretty small, so I would like a UI scale at some point. I'm assuming there's gonna be one, but I don't know. I, I feel like I'm getting old and I need things bigger. Uh, current settlement level. Each level gets you a development point. It's locked right now, but this is our tech tree. We've got development policy production, so I'm looking forward to all of those. I love tech trees. And just listen to the music. It's just... I don't know, it's just nice. Now select this building to add or remove workers. One of you gets some logging, or some timber. 
I feel like I'm pretty far. I'm gonna have to like fill this out with like houses and stuff, I guess. All right. Oh, what's over here? We have an overlay underground water. Okay. And we're fertility up there. Flax. Way up there. Barley. Nowhere. Oh, well, sort of there. Okay. Rye. Almost everywhere. And smell. Does this, does this mean we're gonna have to manage the smell? Oh, I don't like this. I feel like I'm gonna die from smell. Or like, disease. I do like how close we can zoom in. Good job. Good job. Now we're gonna have time 16. Oh boy, that's that's fast. That's okay. That's the good thing about these games is that you can just speed up the slow parts and yeah. Oh wait, hello. Uh, we need to build a storehouse, which I'm building somewhere. Was I not building a storehouse? That's a hitching post. Oh, that's where the ox go. Ah. I don't think I built a storehouse. It doesn't seem like it. That's okay. We'll storehouse like not enough resources. That's okay. I'll build a storehouse like here, right? No. Let's just build it right here. Not enough resources. Oh, I can't build it. Okay. So I'll wait until I think I have some. Yeah, there we go, too. Let's go, so we're building our forager's hut so we can, you know, not die from starvation, which is probably a good thing. I would say we prioritize it, but they're already building it, so... Whenever this is done, we will have a worker because we need to hurry up and get some food. We have 16 bread. There's no oh, wait, no, 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 that's Tomorrow, not. Find a new home or town. We need more workers here. Oh, wait, um, what is this? Supplies? Let's connect to this hitching post. There we go. This is, I guess, our homeless tents. Oh, I guess. Uh, let's build this. So the way that burgage plots work is you get to set an area and then it, de it determines how many, how much room you have. And then if you it has this symbol, then you can do expansion upgrades, which I really want to do. All right. Well, I don't have any wood, so I don't think I can do anything. So let's speed this up. I'm getting a log. We're getting well. Someone's logging stuff. Maybe first I'll tell them to get this, just so. Um, we'll get rid of this and I can build some houses in this area kind of thing. Uh, woodcutter Lodge. I don't think I need any firewood at the moment. I'm good. We'll panic sort of right before, like in November, basically. But I assume that they can cut trees during winter, so it should be fine. This is our endless supply of wild ant. 41 wild animals. Berries, 128. Oh, that's a lot of food. Quest completed. Settlement intro. Oh, a new message. Your supplies are dry and secure, at the, and the first stage of work is done. The stories your people tell around the fire are of the many dangers in the world, from beast to blight. Strange tales about foxes who go on pilgrimage, or small creatures who spin gold from sunset to sunrise. They tell these stories to put common names to their fears. Soon they'll teach these stories to their own children. It's time to bring wives and children to the settlement, now that they can take shelter in proper homes. For your lands to prosper and grow, you'll need not only workers, but families. All right, so I need a well and five burgage plots. Um, wells can only be on this, so I'll have to keep that in mind. However, once we get more, more timber, I will... Um, Build my housing, I guess, in this area. Maybe what I could do... Okay, you know what? Let's connect. There we go. We're connected to the main road. I'm assuming that's a good thing. Not 100% sure, though. We've got this nice big hill here. 
Uh, you know what? Let's put two people here so like that we can cut down trees faster. I don't really know. Okay, let's see. We can have a hunting camp, which I've got one. Let's get one of you working here. So I still have one more unassigned family. Forester hut. Oh, we can plant new trees? Oh, sweet. Okay, I love this. A hitching post. We already have one right there. Market area. Market stalls within the area. This provides the citizens access to local goods. Oh, so I guess it's like so no, they don't all have to walk to like the storage to get stuff. A tavern. I don't have ale yet. Faith. Oh my god, this is massive. Can I build it? Too steep. Okay, well. I guess I'll probably build it. You know what? What if I build it on the road and then we can sort of attract other people to go to church and then they can, you know, give us gold. I don't know if that's how it works, but that's how I'm going to, you know, treat it. All right, let's get some burgage plots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'd like to get three with possible expansion. Like that. Um, I need six wood. Okay. So six wood it is. I'll wait until my my two workers are done. We've got five. And we're chopping down a tree. We're getting six. All right. Well, let's get these plots. Like that. Three houses. What if I build... Three as well here. Oh wait, I need more wood. Damn it. Alright, well, I don't have anyone working here. I've got a hunting camp. So I still have... Food has to be moved, so I guess I probably need people working in these shops. Okay. So that's what I'll do. We'll have someone work at the granary. The granary, rather. And uh, move all... I guess this is our supply. Move all... Oh yeah, we got bread laying around. Food consumed. That's okay. Don't steal my ox. That's right. You just keep moving on right by. Oh, I'll also need to build a well. Which I guess I'll do here. Okay. Okay, so there's stuff to do. Uh, I will remove one of these because if I have idle workers, I'm assuming that they're gonna, you know, construct, which I need to construct things. Got one person building everyone's houses. Ugh. Oh. All right, so this person's moving all our supplies. That's good. Um, where are you going? Transporting meat. Oh, it's taking meat from the hunter. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Storehouse. I'm going to get one person here so we can get our exposed supplies out of the, uh, the weather. We've got red shirt here coming. Hauling... Bricks? Stone? Wood. Firewood. Okay. I don't want the firewood to get wet because that's gonna suck come winter, isn't it? Oh, can I build farms? I can. To employ peasants on the fields, you need to build a farm. I feel like I need more people before I, I feel comfortable doing that. All right, well, here we go. We've got enough food to last us for a, 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 an entire year. I don't know if food spoils. If it's like under under shelter, I don't think so. I could be wrong. Basically, you can stop working and come help build because I think we need some shelter and that's also how we get more people, obviously. Storehouse, they're burying all the firewood in here. Peasants are coming to your village. Oh, this is great. It is. Watch out for your supplies. Hungry and cold peasants can rebel. Um, I need... There we go. 
It says build a town square. Gatehouse. Trading post. Oh, that could be work. Build it on here, basically, on this side. I don't have a town square. We'll see. Maybe it's fine once I have access to water. I feel like once the well is built, it'll be fine. Come on, friends. Build this little well. We'll get to it. Uh, did I build the second plot? No. Oh, no, I needed more timber. Got it. We've almost got... There we go. So it's June. Okay, frequent raining. Berry deposits regrow. Ploffing <laughs> for a quick summer harvest possible. Crop harvest start in late summer. Yeah, I'm probably never going to remember this. Which is fine. Our berries are growing. That's fine. That's fine. We have berries, meat, and bread. I think that's a pretty balanced breakfast. I mean, it's better than starving, so they should not be complaining at all. We got one house. Nice. Uh, Red shirt is moving the supplies. Why are you not using the ox? It's really not doing anything. Oh well. It's your own fault, Red shirt. So this is our little, so everyone has this yard, I guess. Oh, that's pretty nice. This is where I could do upgrades. We've got a little outhouse. We've got a bit of a shelter. We've got a house and some uh, scrap, I guess. And a little gate at the back. Oh, look at that. So. Requires fuel. We've got water here. Requirement not met. Required for next residential level upgrade. Next res Okay. Loss of approval if not fulfilled. All right. So we've got stuff. We don't have entertainment. I don't have faith. That's okay. In general and people. These people are living together. That's okay. And the upgrades. Extensions can provide additional resource yields at the cost of peasants taking time to work on them instead of their assigned jobs. So we could have a vegetable garden, which gives us vegetables. Provide eggs. Uh, right. Okay, so. Eventually we'll get possibly everyone. Some people are going to have uh, chickens. I just want more people. Uh, two timber. Why are you not working faster? Is it because I told you you have a, certain, a specific area? Okay, I'm actually going to clear work area and you can work wherever you want. Even though I want you to get rid of these. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's something weird that they're not cutting down trees for some reason. Our berry supply is running a bit low, but we do have meat, so that's okay. Once this is built, I'm going to get a second person to work in this because whoever this is, you're just not working fast enough. Yeah, you're actually not even working. Why are you not working? Someone's gonna replace you. Yeah, see, this one's coming to work. Dits, why you no work? Thank you, Tommen. At least I can count on someone. Maybe because they're already constructing. I don't know. We got three houses. These are big houses. Look at these nice little houses. Look at that. Wait, where's this house door? Oh, it's there. Oh, they look different. I like it. These graphics are just so nice. Look at that. Like, just the detail is amazing. Oh, 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 hold on a sec, we can look inside. I don't see anything inside. Oh, maybe they don't have beds. Oh, hell, oh gosh, this is awkward. 
Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't, I swear I wasn't, uh, yeah, I wasn't looking. Well, there's that. Uh, we're getting more timber because do we have our two people working? We do. There you go. That wasn't so hard now, was it? All right, so I'm going to focus on possibly getting more of these. There we go. I just need six timber. What if I tell you to hurry up? And once I have six, I'll construct this. That's three extra houses. That's good. I feel like these plots are pretty big, but I do want the expansion because... I don't know. That sound, sounds like a good idea. Um, I feel like I'm blocking off access here, though. I don't know if they can walk. Oh, whatever. They'll figure it out. There's plenty of room. They can walk here. If they need a road, I'm going to call them um, extremely difficult. All right, so our supplies thing is gone, which is good. And I could build more here. I could build a road down here for whatever reason. Oh, you know what? I could build a road down here to build more houses. <gasps> okay, I'm going to try to go work here. Yeah, they're, they're not, but there's plenty of resources here. Look, there's trees. Huh. All right, that's interesting. So this work area is empty, it seems, but there's trees. So I'm not sure how that works exactly, but that's fine. I want to build a church and see how that goes. Not enough resources. I need eight. Eight timber. Fine, they're... They're, now that I know that these are not trees to cut down, it'll be fine. There's another road here which leads to another road. All right. All right, I got this. Sediment level increased. <gasps> A new message. As you walk the perimeter, surveying your village with, a pri with pride, a woman walks past you. She spent nearly double under a sack. You ask how long she's been walking, and she tells you it takes her half a day now to get all the food she needs for her family from the hunters and farmers that surround the village. If only there was a marketplace where your people could acquire food, clothing, and firewood, they would be happier. Have more time for other work. Well, um, yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Efficiency. Maybe we can have a market right here. I feel like I want to relocate this. Can I? No, that's unfortunate. So what is it? The market area. Because I'd like to build it here between everything, but... Eh. I mean, I... Hmm. Let's build it maybe here. I don't know if that fits here. Is that enough? Oh, these are tiny. Okay. Let's get to work. Let's go, people. All right, so we're going to have stalls, and then eventually, when I have enough timber, I'm going to build a church. So I have five uh, burgage plots. I'm going to get a sixth one, so I don't know if that means someone's going to join, but... I'd like to build more just in case. Like, these are... Like, that is what I'll build. I just need six timber. Alright, so what, what time? It's August. I still have plenty of time to get some firewood. Storage limit... Okay, okay. Oh, let's build this. All right. Oh my god, I got a new family! Oh yeah. So this is where all our houses are gonna go. They're gonna come to the market and get stuff from here. Oh, no, sorry. I didn't want to... I didn't want to select you. 
We've got some firewood stall. I guess I'll probably start getting some firewood now. Logging camp? I think this is what I... No. This one. Get a person here. Alright, so uh, food is not an issue. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it's telling... Oh, damn it. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna wait till there's no one there and click on it. There we go. So we got 15 firewood. People are gonna go get it. That's fine. I do need a food stall, so I need to... I need a person. Maybe... You know what? I think I'm gonna stop the berries. Stop the berries. You can go um, fill up this food stall and then more people get to work. So this is level two burgage plots. Oh, oh, I could probably do that. You. So I need some kind of gold. Some wealth, maybe? It seems like it. Okay, well, I need... Well, you know what? Let's just get some... Uh, I feel like getting vegetable garden right now is pointless because, uh, well, it's September. Whatever. Carrots. Oh, I need tools. Oh. I think it's time. Forester can plant new trees. I feel like I should probably have one. Okay, let's build a road right here, and I'm going to build a forester. Not enough resources as well. Story of my life. We got a new person. Oh, we have two people. You need to work faster. Maybe I need a third person, because they're slow. I feel like I'm clear-cutting this, but that's okay, because I'm going to get a forester. New family. Oh my god, this is awesome. We're getting families like there's no tomorrow. Gladly. There we go. Forester here. We'll plant trees there. That's good. We'll get a note. We need tools. Um, There is a trading post. Eight timber. That's not there yet. We've got farming. Oh, industry. Iron slab. So I need to find an iron... Oh, right there. Iron ore. I need to mine. Do I need to build it on top? Too steep. I don't think so. There we go. Um, I feel like I probably should have built it on top. Uh, we'll see what happens. If if not, it's just a few wasted resources. Right, what did I want that cost eight? Oh yes! Oh yes, we're getting a church. Make people happy. Pantry full at the food stall. That's okay. I mean, there's really nothing I can do about that. Except wait for people to go get their food. The tavern, where everyone's gonna get drunk and everything's gonna go downhill. Maybe, maybe not. No, they'll just be- they'll be happier. Oh wait, no, it lowers public order. Oh no! Well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, it seems. You know what? I think I will build it right here. There we go. Build this church. And we will build... Trading post. Surplus goods. Not enough anything, that's okay. That's okay. I'll get more timber soon, and then I'll build this nice little trading post right here. I could build it here, but there's a, oh, there's a lot of animals. All right, workers, hurry up. Get this. I feel like I don't have enough firewood for my people. Oh my god, I got nine people? You get more people. We need some uh, firewood. We've got three people, and they're not. They're not cutting anything. 
Winter's coming. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, this was a mistake. Hunting camp. I mean, two months, right? October. Oh gosh, that's not good. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, do I have to refine the meat? So are my people not eating meat because it's not cooked? Because they should be able to cook their own meat. If not, I'm going to be pretty disappointed in them. Farming. Malt. No, no, no. Could make that tannery eventually. Trading post. I'm going to build a trading post at some point soon. One person working at the forester's hut. There we go. Now you should go procrastinating. Oh, I don't like these people. Felling a tree. Good job, Ditz. Good job. One of you's working at least. Low on supplies. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's some heavy rain right now. Oh, look at this. this hopefully this uh, vegetable is going to help. Pantry limit reach. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, if we lose our our colony, it's a learning learning thing. It feels like they're not eating the meat. Salted meat? Do I have to wait until it's salted? Oh, gosh. Gatehouse. Nice. Yeah, these people are not working. Gathering, waiting, and waiting. What are you waiting for? There it goes. Look at all this fog. This looks nice. This looks really pretty. This tea town centers. Oh, this is my town center. Got it. Okay, so we got we're the pants faction. We've got uh the uh. uh carrots these people are not they're not working maybe I build another logging camp somewhere like up here yeah they're not none of them are none of them are working so I guess I'd like to be able to see what like why are you not getting these trees or these ones i don't understand what's going on okay let's build another right here construction finished we got a church bell sound nice. it's not disconnected from a road network Connected to... Okay, now it is. Ah, okay. Got it. There we go. We have our church here on the corner of... Uh, I don't know. Burgage Plot 3 and... The Open World. Approval rating is... Plus 3. Food variety on the marketplace. Yep. Okay, so they are eating the meat. Okay, because it was at 73, now it's at 60. That's reassuring, though. That's reassuring. Yeah, you guys are all fired. Let's get out of here. I think this is pretty neat. I mean, so far we've got a nice little sprawling city. The berries are, I mean, seasonal. So they'll uh, regrow in March, May. So, yeah. Iron deposit. Disconnected from road. Network. There we go. No longer the case. We've got some animals. 25 wild animals. I don't know if they're gonna re like repopulate if I get rid of all of them, but that's a that's a problem for future Vero. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. This was uh, Manor Lords. I think the game is just like gorgeous and just simply amazing. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but I think this is a one-person game dev which is absolutely astonishing, I would say.
just amazing. Well, we got. I would like to get more animals and stuff. This is this is a great demo. I don't know how far how long the demo is, but thanks for watching, everyone. This was Game Gander. Hug. For Mana Lords. If you do want to play, it's available on Steam Next Fest, I think until October 10th. I do recommend you try it. It is, it's just, it's just fantastic. I want to, I want to, I want to get to the tech tree, but that, you got to wait. You got to wait for the game, but that's okay. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more game ganders. And I'll see you all next video.